Good morning, and welcome to another exciting day with Belize Body Revolution. I hope you all are doing great this morning and are ready to move with us today. I want to hear from you, so please post any questions you might have relating to fitness and health, and I will pick one question every week to answer them and help you reach your potential. Please stay connected with us and give us a thumbs up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know if you have been liking the workouts. From now on, I'll be skipping some of the workout moves since I am not able to perform them anymore. But I hope to continue to coach you through the workouts and that you find them effective for yourself. All right guys, so let's get started today on the ground. We're starting with a core circuit. So ready, we're gonna start with a high plank, mountain climb, low plank, and plank jacks. So Mike's gonna demo, high plank, 10 seconds. Nice straight line from the shoulders to the hips. Four, three, straight to mountain climbers, ready and go. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, moving to low plank on elbows, straight body. Same position, other than you are on elbows this time. Good job. Five, four, three, coming back up two hands to a plank jack. So you're gonna open, close. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take a little short break, five seconds. And we're gonna start off again on high plank. So repeating the circuit. High plank, mountain climbers, low plank, plank jack. So hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and mountain climb, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Low plank, guys, on elbows. Straight position, a little higher, Mike. There you go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up to high plank, plank jacks. Open, close. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Short break. Drop to knees a little bit. Third round, guys, starting on high plank. Ready and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, great plank. Two, one, mountain climb, ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to low plank on elbows. So hold up, nice straight line guys. As you can see, Mike has improved greatly the last week, so I hope you're doing so as well. Three, two, one, last one, up to hands, plank jacks. Open, close. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to knees and stretch down. So push back. So as you can see, this really warms up the body quickly. And you should get, uh, keep getting better on those planks. All right guys, so today we have a mixed circuit. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna use some weight. So let's take a deep breath, inhale, come up. We're gonna stand up and move over. So let's move this mat out of the way. We're gonna start with 10 squats. So let's pick up your weight. One weight here. We're gonna start with 10 squats going down. Ready, set, and drop. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're moving into a kettlebell swing. So if you don't have a kettlebell, so Mike, grab your kettlebell. You can grab your dumbbell 
diamond position like this. We're gonna swing through the legs. 10 swings, I'm gonna skip this move. That's 10, so back and forth. Use your hips. Five, four, three, two, one more. And we're dropping to the ground for 10 push-ups. So we're doing a mix between upper and lower body. So you can either go on knees or on your feet. 10 push-ups, drop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, let's stand back up. We're going for lunges, guys. Grab your weights. So everything is weighted now. Weights up. We're gonna take a step forward. 10 lunges. Ready and go. Good. Three, four, five, six, breathe. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and rest. Put your weights down, take a breather. So let me just go over it one more time. Squat, then we're going to kettlebell swing, push-ups, and lunges. All right, let's start over. Grab our weight, wide stance, and drop. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kettlebell swing. If you don't have a kettlebell, remember diamond grip right here. I'll go sideways, hips hinge back, and I lift up. Two, extend your hips all the way up. Four, five, all the way up, Mike. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set the weight down. Down to the ground, push-ups. So, remember you can stay modified on knees or on feet. Ready and drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Coming up to lunges. So grab your weights, guys. You have one here in the center. Ready, let's step forward. Lunge forward, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Weights down. Take a breather. Let's inhale. Remember, I want you to start picking up that intensity. One way you can do it is get bigger weights, all right? So a little bit more each week. So we have third round, same circuit, starting with squats. Let's grab our weights again. Wide stance, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Weights up, and let's squat, guys. Drop hips back and down. Two, three, pace yourself. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. All right, kettlebell swing. 
Diamond grip, guys. So remember, this move is a lot of hip motion. You gotta hinge your hip and then extend through. So swing in, pull. Two. Keep the stomach tight. Three, back straight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Down to the ground. Push up. So straight body or on knees. Ready and drop. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Great job. Breathe. Back to standing up. Last one for this circuit. Back to lunges, guys. Pace yourselves, breathe. Lunges coming forward, ready, and go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Back straight, chest up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Breathe. Great job. Weights down. All right, guys. Second circuit. We're still mixing it up. We are going to start with the deadlift. So let me show you what the four movements look like first. Weight. So if you remember from last week's, we went over deadlift already. Slight bend on the knee. Weight stays in front of me. I'm gonna hinge my hips back, reach towards my feet, and stand back up, all right? My back stays nice and flat. My hips go back. My head is neutral, and I stand back up. One more time so you can see. All right, after this move, we are going to a thruster. We're gonna squat, press. That's the second move. Third move is we're gonna repeat our swing. So we're going back to our kettlebell or dumbbell swing. And the fourth one is gonna be a cross lunge. So we're gonna be back and up. All right, so we're gonna mix it up again. So starting with the deadlift. Weight in the front. Slight bend on the knee. Stomach tight, shoulders back, and let's drop. 10 of these, one. And two. Three. Slow. Four. Five, really focus on your backside. Six. You should feel it in. Hamstrings, low back and glutes. Two more. One more. All right, bring the weights up. So we're moving to a thruster, which is a squat with a press. Ready? Squat with this push. Drive the weight up. Two. Three. Four. Five. All the way through. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, going to kettlebell swing. So I'm sticking with my dumbbell, because it's lighter. So remember, hinge back, pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up and 10. Breathe, guys. Going to a cross lunge. So we're taking our leg back and over. Ready? And drop. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rest, guys, weights down. On this one, I want you to straddle. Inhale. Exhale, reach down. It's a little breather. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, reach towards your feet. So we're repeating this circuit, starting over with a deadlift. So, let's pick up our weight one more time. Slide in on the knee, hips back, hinge, and drop. 10 of those. Two. Three, four, five. This is great for the glutes, the back of the leg. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Going into thruster, weight comes up. Squat and press. Ready? And squat, guys. Drive it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kettlebell swing, guys. Or dumbbell swing, whatever you have available. And swing up. One, two, three, four. Come all the way straight. Good. Three more. One, two, and three. Deep breath. Cross lunge. Let's move our right leg first. Ready? And cross it over, one, two. So back and behind, across the other leg. Five, six, keep, keep your legs apart a little bit on the stand-up position. Three more, one, two, last one. Breathe, weight down. Inhale. Exhale, go the right side. So we're doing our stretching in between. Kind of give you a chance to rest a little bit. Catch your breath. Get ready for the last set. Inhale up. Exhale, rotate the other side. So I hope you're feeling stronger each workout you join us with. We have last circuit for this one, all right? So, starting over. Deadlift, guys. Ready? Slide bend on the knee, hinge your hips back, back straight, and reach down. One. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, going into thruster. White stance, weight up, ready, squat and press. Squat, drive it through, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, kettlebell or dumbbell swing. Ready, breathe. And go. One. Keep your chest up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. 
Last exercise, cross lunge. Ready, breathe, cross it over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Great job, guys. Weights down. Going back to our mat, to the floor. So let's bring our mat back out. Skipping this one this time. But Mike will demo how we're gonna finish this workout. So let's grab our ball. We're gonna go on our backs, performing sit up, sit up press with the weight, and then rotations with that ball. If you don't have a ball, you can use your dumbbell, all right? So no weights right now, just sit up. 10 sit ups. Ready, set, and back. So sit up, all the way up, one. You can't do the sit up yet, crunch, so halfway, all right? So whatever you're comfortable with, five, six, breathe. Seven, eight, nine, one more. All right, we're gonna grab our weight or our ball. Hold it against your chest on the way back. On the way up, you're gonna press that weight up. Ready, set, go back, sit up and press. One. So we're doing core and shoulders. Three, good job. Four. Five, this is a little bit more advanced, but I want to push you a little bit more. Seven, eight, nine, one more guys. Rotations, so listen to the cue. Back is straight, you're gonna lean back slightly. Give some room here, extend the knees a little bit. So chest out, you're gonna rotate reaching towards the ground, ready and go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rest. So that works your obliques. As well as your core, because you're holding it here, but you're mainly working the side. So we're gonna repeat that routine, starting with sit-ups. You get tired, you can crunch, just crunch. But push yourselves, ready, set, and let's go. All the way up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job, Mike. All right, let's grab the ball, guys, or your dumbbell, whatever you have available. So, weight against the chest on the way back. Sit up and press it up. Ready? Drive it up. One. Two, good job. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Going into rotations, and this is our last set for our workout. So hold your ball, back straight, lean back slightly. Chin up, let's reach towards the ground. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's relax flat out on the ground. So lay flat this time. Just stretch your arms overhead. Arch your back a little bit. So just arch up, arch, yeah, like that. Just reach back. So you're stretching your abs and your obliques. Good job. Inhale, exhale. Let's rotate and finish with our stretch here. So, on our knees, stretch down. So notice how he's pressing his chest towards the ground. I want you to try and do that. So press right there. Great job, come up to all fours. I want you to curl your back up like a cat. 
then arch. Stretch. One more time, curl it up as high as you can, breathe. Exhale, arch. Lift your head. One more time, curl. Exhale, arch. And let's reach forward again and go back, guys. Stretch down. Great job. Last stretches for our hamstrings. Here our knees. Kick one leg forward. One hand on each side. Try to stretch this leg in the front. Very important to finish off with a stretch so that your muscles relax a little bit after all the work you put in. One more switch. And stretch down. Great job, guys. We're gonna finish off with this stretch. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Don't go anywhere. We will be back with more after this short break. Welcome back. On today's tip segment, I want to cover an important part of our daily lives, and that is water. So many of us may wonder how much water you should consume a day. Water is of major importance to all living things. In some organisms, up to 90% of their body weight comes from water. Up to 60% of the human adult body is water. According to H.H. H. Mitchell, Journal of Biological Chemistry, the brain and heart are composed of 73% water and the lungs are about 83% water. To sustain our system in optimal condition, how much water should you drink? It is recommended that you consume 0.5 to 1 ounce of water per pound of body weight. So to use an average of 0.75 ounces per pound of body weight, let me show you what that would look like. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, you would multiply 150 times 0.75. That gives you a total of 112.5 ounces. It sounds like a lot. But if there is eight ounces in a cup, you would just divide the total, 112.5 by eight, and that equals 14 cups of water. Or if you want to measure in liters, this would be about 3.3 liters. So. This jug I have here is about three and a half liters of water. So this is an example for someone that weighs 150 pounds. So we all weigh different amounts, so you would just take your weight and multiply it by that. It might sound like a lot, but believe it or not, your body needs it. If you've never paid attention to this factor, you should. Water regulates temperature, helps the function of your organs, helps your skin, it improves digestion, flushes our toxins, and promotes weight loss, just to name a few. If drinking plain water is hard, I suggest you infuse it. Some ideas are add cucumber, add some lime or orange slices, or perhaps some herbs that really spike it up, such as mint and basil, it help the flavor a lot. Don't forget, practice makes perfect, so start with a small goal. If you aren't used to drinking so much, don't forget that it is very important to do. This is it for us today. Please join us next time for more workouts and fitness tips. Until then, don't forget, commit to be fit.